What is going on everybody? Tech Enthusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to play the PC port of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past on your Steam Deck. Now this port includes things like widescreen, custom shaders, high quality MSU tracks as well as quality of life changes. Now with that being said let's get started. So firstly we need to be in the desktop mode and transfer the game over to the Steam Deck Make sure it is the USA version of the game and it's extracted in .sfc format. Now optionally if you want to make sure you've got the correct version of the game you can install an app called GTK Hash from the Discover Store. So we're going to open that and then find the game, select it and then open. Then click on the hash. Now as long as the SHA-1 matches mine then you've got the correct version of the game. So we can go ahead and close it, then open the Discover Store, then in the search bar type in Zelda and then enter. Here we've got Zelda 3, click on install. So this shouldn't take too long to download. Once that has finished we can close that and then go to our application list and then scroll all the way to the bottom and then open Zelda 3. And it's going to prompt us to select the ROM. So we're going to click on select ROM, then find the game, select it and then OK. And then it's, it's going to start extracting the ROM. This can take about 25 seconds or so, so I'm just going to speed up the video. Once that has finished it's going to ask us to install a translation. I'm going to go with no, activate filter, so by default you can say no for the pixelated look but I want the XBRZ filter and now we can start the game or click on open config file where we can change some of the quality of life changes. So once that has opened we're going to scroll all the way to the top as there are some options here. So the first thing I want to change is the aspect ratio and change that to 16 by 10 to match the Steam Deck. Then under graphics we can change how the full screen works. Now if you want to play this game on the uh, desktop mode then you should change it to number 2 otherwise you can't exit the uh, full screen. But I'm going to leave it on number 1 as we're going to be playing it on gaming mode. Then I'm going to scroll down and go to, actually let's go to the features section basically where we can enable some of the other quality of life changes. So I'm going to skip a few and then, oh, okay here it is the first one, collect items with the sword. So I'm going to change from 0 to 1 to enable it and then uh, break pots with the sword. This only works on levels 2 to 4 and if you want you can you know disable the low heart beep. Uh, I'm going to enable the show max rupees or items and you know you can change the rupee uh, wallet size as well and I'm going to enable the various Zelda bug fixes. So we can actually, actually no let's go to the bottom and we can see some of the key mappings here as well as cheats. This is something I'm not going to delve into right here. You can do that on your spare time if you want. So now we can save and open the game but optionally we can enable the MSU tracks. So I'll show you how to do that. So firstly obviously make sure you got the MSU tracks. I will leave a link in the description and I've got it in the downloads folder. So what we're going to do is go to the uh, Zelda folder. So click on the icon there then enable show hidden files then open .var app and here we've got the Zelda 3 folder. So we're going to go in there then data and this is where the INI file is as well. So we're going to right click and create a new folder and call it MSU and I'm just going to go into that folder as well and next I'm going to right click on the downloads folder and open it in a new tab and then open this raw file Then I'm going to select all of the files by Control A I am using a Bluetooth keyboard by the way I'm going to go in the MSU folder and then basically drag and drop. 
so this shouldn't take too long. Okay, once that has finished, we can close that. Now pay attention to the name here. As you can see, this is how my, well, how these files are named. And if we go back to the config file, as you can see, it matches exactly. So basically after the hyphen, we don't want any numbers here. If you've got different file names, change it here. So next we're going to change the audio sample from 512 to 1024, basically giving it double the uh, quality. Enable MSU from false to true, basically it enables it. And then MSU volume, we're going to change that to 50%. And that's it. We're going to click on save. And then we can close this INI file as well as the folder. And then we're going to go back to the application list, go all the way to the bottom, then right click on Zelda 3, then add to Steam. And once that has finished, we're going to go into gaming mode. So I've gone ahead and added custom artwork as well as launched the game so you can see how the recent artwork looks like as well as the banner and I've obviously added the cover as well. Now if you're interested in doing that you can do it by the desktop mode which is the common some way of doing it or install Decky Loader but you will have to give your Steam Deck admin permissions and I did sort of cover it in my Super Mario 64 video which you can check out. Anyway, we can see the artwork is different here thanks to the shader. Now we're in game. Some parts of it are not full screen as for example this house here, but it's not a big deal. Anyway, uh, let's just get that chest open. And here you can see it is full screen. Let me open the uh, world map. Again, this is full screen as well, as well as being in higher quality. And if I press the Steam button, you can see the custom icon as well as the artwork there as well. Now one thing, I'm not sure if this is still being worked on, but if you walk, say, to the left a lot, for example, it doesn't go entirely full screen. You'll probably notice that as you play the game. Again, it's not much of a big deal. It's probably going to be worked on later. Anyway, that wraps up for this video. And I have to say... Adding the MSU tracks makes a huge difference to this game as well as playing in widescreen. Now one thing we're very lucky to have is the app on the Discover Store because if it wasn't there then we would have had to build it ourselves and the process would have been a lot longer. Now if you have found this video useful give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I've got more videos coming up so make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.